So let's go to the page to see where we are and what next we need to do. So now in this step, we are going to call the HR service from the admission service. So somebody sitting in the admission front desk and from there, he needs to get data from the HR department. So he needs to actually assess the HR microservice to get this data, to get lists of doctors or something. So to do that, we need to add a, a add get rest template method, add a rest template method to the admissions, uh, add a get rest template method to the admissions uh, uh, service application file, and this method returns a new rest template. All right, so let's go to do it. Get rest template returns a rest template. And we are going to do this in the admissions application file. So to actually call another service, we need to use an object called a rest template. So this rest template is used for making rest calls across to different, um, to different services or to different other APIs. So I'm going to call get rest template. That get rest template will be a bin. It's going to return a rest template, and that rest template will be used in in anywhere in this application. So we are not we don't need to instantiate it every time. So we are creating a bin. In case you don't know what a bin is, you can watch uh, my other video where I discussed uh, dependency injection. So let's go here. So we are going to go to admissions, and we are going to go to admissions service and we are going to open this file hmm so why this has behaved this way I don't know so let me see if I can stop this from okay so I'm going to just close this I think that is the only way to manage this situation I'm going to bring down this okay so I'm going to create a bean right here so I'm going to say public get rest template uh, public rest tem uh, public so and this is going to return new rest template so let's see if everything is okay so at this point let's try to look at the code to see so no 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 this is not where I want to go so let's see the code to see if we are doing something wrong so I'm going to go down okay so Okay, I think I should get it. Probably get public return a rest templates, get rest template and returns new rest templates. Okay, so this is what I need to do. Okay, so what have we done? We've created, we've done this, we've added get rest template method to this admission service application we are creating a bean all right, all right a bean is simply a singleton object that you need to return and it prevents you from having to create instances of this object every time i'm going to mark this as green then i'm going to annotate this as a bean at bean all right mm -hmm. okay so this is a bean all right so rest template as i said you use it to make make rest api calls uh in a web application or in a, in a microservice i'm going to mark this as green as well the next step is to create a rest template private variable in the admissions resource class so we are going to create a rest template variable uh, in the admissions resource class so i'm going to go to admissions resource now we are simply trying to use no this is not interesting because I don't know why it's happening this way okay so it should actually be like this so so I'm actually going to 
Okay, so I'm simply going to reset my workspace. So I'm going to go to Windows. I'm going to go to Perspective. I'm just going to reset Perspective. Yeah, that's what I want. So it takes uh, a few seconds. So this is how it should be. So I reset my Perspective. Okay. All right. So let's go to Admissions Resource. This. And we are going to create, let's see exactly what we should do. We should create a REST template private variable in the admissions resource class. So I'm going to say private REST template REST template. So this is what we are actually going to be using to make the calls. So I'm going to call to YI. So I repeat. A REST template is used for making REST requests. If you want to make a call from one service to another, what you are going to use to make that call uh, to get data or to post data is called a REST template. All right. So, um, so I'm going to import this and I'm going to also do this. All right. So says add body this method requires a body instead of a semicolon private rest templates all right so it should be this okay so um the nice thing is i annotated with auto wired which is what i just did 